I was just saying, have a really yeah, cool like, graphic. I, I, like right there, I love this like title screen of this demo version we've got because like right there visually, like it's you so see those intense. arms. Like. Yeah, it's it's kind of what you do, right? I mean, you kind of throw a punch and you kind of hit the person in the face, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of what it is. Yeah. And if you'll notice, you'll I'll talk about the backgrounds later and stuff too, but we'll we'll get into it. So uh, there's a couple characters in this particular demo. There's five of them, but uh, I'll start with Springman first, and I'll just kind of go into kind of basics and kind of teach you guys how to how to play, how it works, and we'll go from there. So um, as you can see, I'm holding the Joy-Con up in kind of like this thumbs up grip style. So like kind of the face, like the uh, ABXY buttons and all the sticks are kind of facing in. And then I have my thumbs on the L and R buttons up top like this. So I'm just going to press L and R with my thumbs like this. And we're in. Now the motion, the way it works is you're going to tilt gently the side. And we saw this a little bit last night where he was kind of like tilting a little bit. You saw it in the video. So we're going to tilt a little bit just to move. You don't need a lot. Okay. You can also tilt forward and back like that. And uh, with your left thumb, you can actually press the L button to dash. So you can actually just move forward and dash this way. You could dash to the left, dash to the right. All it takes is one button. So it's, you know, in general, you know, it's really simple, right? So R button with your right thumb to jump like that. I'm digging this enemy that you're going up against. Yeah, oh, Master Mummy? Oh, yeah. he'll, he'll be digging Pretty me in a second. <laughs> um, so to punch is actually interesting because your hands, um, these punches are more like Wing Chun punches, I call them, like thumbs up punches. So you want to punch straight and flick. It's nice, it's a nice straight flick. And notice how the fist travels straight, right? You can throw it with your right hand, left hand. And it says twist the curve your punches. So really it's a two-step punch. So the moment after you flick, you want to gently kind of rock your right hand to the inside or rock it to the outside. So it's one kind of fluent motion. And that's all it takes. It's very, very simple. That's where the Movement, magic starts. Starts. That's where that's like the first little nibble of like the, oh my, where that depth comes from. And we're gonna learn yeah. that. Part. Oh my gosh, dude! Like I will, do I will break this thing down. And so we already talked about you know curving your punches and stuff. But what that does is you know if you think about how they're standing, it's you really have to kind of track and predict where the other person is gonna go and then you know guide your punch to their face. See, I'm gonna go back to the face punching thing. Master Mummy's totally going easy on you right now. Yeah. So if uh, if you flick with both hands and punch with both hands straight at the same time, you will grab. <laughs> Nice. So now we have kind of the basics of every fighting game, right? You have movement, you have punches, and now you have throws. And don't worry, we'll get into a couple other stuff. Uh, so in the bottom right corner, you see the little triangle? It's kind of like on like, yellow flames and stuff. Yep. If you press the ZR button with your right thumb, um, you can press it, okay. and then you just kind of flick both hands and punch both hands forward a little bit, and there you go. Just totally rock the other person with a super move. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, press the L on our buttons, yeah. and let's get to a fight, yeah? Master Mummy's so mad that he had to sit there in training or <laughs> you just beat up on him, I think. Sit there uh, and take it? Oh, man. I wish all my opponents were that easy. There would just be a training. Dummy. <laughs> it's not, that's not the case. I mean, this game fun. Is, yeah. It would be fun, but let no. me tell you, man. It's all about reading the other person <laughs> and what they're doing. So what's interesting about this game is also selection of arms. You'll notice that Springman actually has you know a couple different options. And each of these arms on the left and right um, hands I can pick independently. So just for this round, toaster. I'm going to pick. You want you want the toaster? Okay, I'll oh, pick one toast. of the toasters. Yeah. Okay, toaster with my left hand and what boomerang or trident with the I other. Think boomerang's good. That'll show boomerang. some of the. That'll accentuate sort of the curve you get on some of those punches. Oh man, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and select these. So press L and R to confirm, and we're off and running now. So another thing I want you is blocking. So and I'll go back into why blocking is important in a second. Well, yeah. not because defense, but other things. So notice how my left hand when I throw it out straight, I can hit him. But strategically, what I like doing, since I have the boomerang in my right hand, I'm going to flick out the boomerang, force him that way, and he has to deal with that. And, oh, there Ooh, see if I get my pulse enough? Oh, trouble up. Motion's important. Yeah, and you guys saw there what JC did. You can Whoa. sort of see there's like these little exclamation points that start to show up on the shoulders and arms. So the arms, as they take damage left and right, sort of get staggered. And that'll load, and that's something you have to sort of, uh, if you get one of your arms negated, like your right arm goes down, you can't block with that. Exactly. And further, it, you, you know, I just, the master mommy did this to me. I tried to throw, and he punched through them. So they go, oh boy, move, uh, move, move. No, nope, nice. nope. Trampoline. Whoop. That was good. So you saw that he unleashed his flurry of Eat punches. It. Uh. Oh, I tried to combo it, because you can actually, you know, knock him into those, uh, the trampolines in the back, and then combo again when he's juggling midair. So I totally missed it, though. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, that was nice. We got this. Oh, that was bad. Wait, wait, wait. Throw a punch, throw a punch. Oh, too slow. Wait, I'm just going to do this and finish him off. There oh, that was nice. So strategically, depending on the arms that I pick, I'm always thinking, OK, the boomerang technically goes around arms. So I know that my fists aren't going to clash with his with that. So I always lead with the boomerang first to get him to move and to get him to punch. So that's kind of the way I think about the boomerang in this particular matchup. 
Now, I'm going to trade a little bit and use the trident and kind of show you some advanced stuff. So let's switch it up now. I'll do trident in my left hand, and my right hand I'll do toaster. Yeah, and you can see this is the best two out of three match. JC's got a little one win up in the left corner. You can see his little icon with a little blue dot. And you He's can see our, our health bars, so mine's in the bottom right. And I can see Master Mummies. It's right over his head in the top right. So oh, he's got his. Oh, I was so glad I was watching. Wow. Look at that. It's very Plus. serendipitous. It was totally. And always, movement is movement is life, man. He and wants uh, his revenge. He does. He seeks revenge. Oh, you get that. I got that. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. Oh. oh, you were lucky there. Both your arms were gone. Uh, but, yeah, and I actually I realized that, you know, picking the trident against Master Mummy was not a smart idea because both of his arms can actually go through my left hand. See, the trident covers a lot of ground, but it's weak. See how that went right through? Yeah. Yeah, that was actually not very smart against this matchup. I should have thought about that, which, again, it's it's, it's deep, dude. I, I have to tell you this, but I'll keep talking about, you know, rock, paper, scissor games and play games. But wait, give me a second, give me a second. There, he's over. Okay. Eat, it, nice. eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There you go. That was nice. Very nice. Whoa. Okay. Come on, come on. So, this is actually really hard to actually talk while I'm doing this, but. Let me see. Oh, he totally let that punch. I was good. Oh, oh my gosh. See, what he's doing is the reason why I keep getting shocked is he's powering up those punches. And when he powers up the punches, I can power it up. Oh, nice. Nice. Punch. And uh, you wake up. Oh, so oh, 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 this is a close one. Oh, no. oh, 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 close one. Oh, you got your four. Oh, oh. oh, got there it. That was go. so good. Okay, so let me kind of go what you're seeing here. So essentially, you're really throwing out three different types of moves, right? Technically, I have a punch, I have a throw, and I have a block, which I didn't actually use very much because I actually like I'm moving around and kind of dodging around them instead. Now, it's kind of a basic staple in fighting games to where it's a rock, paper, scissor game, right? It's hits, wins over like throws, throws, wins over blocks, and blocks usually wins over you know punches. And yeah. what ends up happening is if you dodge, you move out of that rock, paper, scissor game because you can't do any damage, but you can't accept any damage either, right? So let me go ahead and... Uh, let me go ahead and pick somebody else. Uh, who should I pick? Um, why don't you? Let's see. Maybe go uh, Master Mummy. <laughs> maybe Rib. Yeah. Or you, or you no, want maybe Ribbon Girl. Ribbon Girl. Okay, I'll do Ribbon Girl. Ready? Okay. Um, and JC, it's important to point out that you've been playing with the Joy-Con one in each hand. Yes. I'm um, sort of using motion controls, but um, there is obviously if you're a purist and you like button controls, and you'd rather use a more traditional controller. You could of course do that as well. You can. You can. But for me personally, I got so used to doing this that uh, you know, I'm all about. You know the motion. I kind of got used to it. And oh no, it's kind of like Splatoon. Like, Once you get used to it, it's it's really hard. Not that you have so much. What's great about arms is like just to make the point is like it's a game that you can pick up. You pick up the Joy-Con one each hand, and because you have one each hand, like your movements are really translated almost completely on screen, and you feel like you know what you're doing right away. Like you're almost immediately like functional at playing the game, pretty good. But then the more you play, the more you start to find that depth of controls. Um, and I think the people that want to get their hands on this game are really gonna like appreciate like how much. Uh, the Joy-Con brings to that game, uh, to the game, and, uh, and just discovering that depth. Oh. Yeah, and JC, you were talking about how as you throw the punch, you can actually feel the arms extending and unraveling. Oh, is he? That's weird. The HD Rumble. Yeah. Yeah, I remember awesome. the first time I got this. I was like, wait a minute, this is super weird. It's like kind of disorienting. No, it feels like it's weird. Like the way the best way to describe it is it feels like something's traveling out of your hand. Like if I'm punching a ribbon, oh, it feels amazing. like a ribbon's like unraveling and traveling that way. I, I can't. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it, but. Yeah. That's the best I can do, man. So you've got Rimmingard all this time. And so as, as you guys probably noticed, uh, you know, he's got th the, the different selection of arm attachments. Mm -hmm. um, so the characters are, you know, the character models are one thing. And then they, they sort of have a stock set of three in this demo version of uh, attachable arms. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the Sparky and slap a Mander. And I'm going to get into a couple things. slap a Mander. slap a Mander. Yeah. I love this thing. Um, what's interesting is, you know, if you think about... You, know, you think about different fighting games, and I play a lot of them at work. I know you guys probably see me in Smash Bros. Just like, <laughs> like, like after work every day. Um, you know, I'm really about thinking about what are the like. You know, it takes a lot in other fighting games to have access to, you know, rock, paper, or scissor. In nice both of grab. Those. I like how that. You know, both of his arms were knocked down, and yep. then you immediately went in. That's a, that's a strat, man. That's legit. Oh, oh, you unlock the, the trampoline in the middle of the stage. Hold on. I love this. Oh, totally fast me. But um. The thing that really gets you about it is you have options to really get to everything. I mean, really, all you need to do is either you're flicking both hands forward at the same time a throw, or you're flicking, you know, one to punch, or you're doing this to block. So every motion you have is very simple, and it's simple button controls, too. You only have technically two buttons to, you know, to press. So I mean, it's, it's very simple, but it gets very deep really quickly when you figure out how to use them and what your movement options are and what the optimal leading off of that. Oh, nice. that combos. Anyway. I don't know if people caught it either, but um, 
just a moment ago, Ninjara like disappeared for a second in a puff of smoke, and then he was like back in another area. So ah, that's yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so we'll talk about that too. I think. Uh, yeah, so the characters each have their own sort of unique uh, feature uh, characteristics. As yeah, well. they have like their thing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they all have their thing. So here, yeah. let's restart another one. And uh, yeah, so play you just went, yeah, you just went two and zero against the CPU, but I think it's time to uh, fight somebody. Maybe, maybe you know, I've, I've been practicing. <laughs> if you if you so want some, come get some. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna grab my own set of Joy-Con here. <laughs> I get the uh, the colored ones, which are really exciting. Oh, uh, you know, while you're putting those on. I will talk about this. So uh, I kind of maybe let's uh, I'll go into two players and let's I'm gonna pause right here on the screen for a bit so we can yeah. check out the characters. Mm -hmm. So Springman's kind of balanced and all around. He has great motion. He has a lot of options like for movement. He has a good you know the jump and the dash has a good length and it's pretty sand. It's actually a little better than everybody else's. Um, when it comes to Ribbon Girl, I don't know if you noticed this, but the last game I was jumping like four or five times. You're all going the same one, so yeah, you could yeah, you, you could totally jumping. do that. I was all about dude. If you can control the vertical space, it's actually really hard for yeah. she's she's hard to hit. Um, Ninjara, you know, I think he was my opponent in like, like one of the rounds before, and you said he disappeared in a puff of smoke. If you block and a punch is coming toward you, Ninjara will disappear and reappear depending on what side the punch is coming from. And then you have frame advantage on how to actually hit. Yeah, and what's really cool too about the, like, the dev team I think has done such an amazing job with the IP because like, the characters are sort of, you know, they have these extendable arms and the character design, like, you know, Spring Man has spring, Ribbon Girl has ribbons. Mm -hmm. Ninjara, if you didn't notice, had chains for yeah, arms. Yeah, chains Master for Master Mummy has like gauze, you know, so it's all things that like are believably <laughs> extendable in this magical world they've created, so. I know, man, it's almost like a World Cupping like sporting event almost, you yeah. know, like. Anyway, um, so Master Mummy. Master Mummy is kind of interesting because he has a little bit of super armor, which means he can take like a hit or two. But at the same it's time, if he blocks, yeah, he's a tank. If he blocks, you'll see him heal. So you don't want to leave him just by himself blocking because he'll just start yeah. healing. Uh, when it comes to Mechanica, Mechanica can I jump. I know, right? She's actually really cool. Um, aside from just jumping multiple times, she can actually press the R button and hold it down, and she can steer herself in flight in midair. Yeah. So you have a ton of different options, and depending who you choose, kind of, and, and the arms you choose, kind of changes the way you play the character. Yeah, so, so let's choose two of the ones maybe we haven't seen yet. You played as Ribbon Girl and Spring Man, so did. Wh who do you want to, uh, and you fought Master Mummy, so should we bust out? One Ninjara. Ninjara and uh, Mechanica, maybe? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, you want to do that? Here, I'll pick Ninjara. Oh. There you go. Hello, right. I love his chain sunglasses, too. Like wearing, like Sorry, man. They kind of, yeah, they kind of went out the character designs. And what's funny is if you look in the background, you'll also notice that depending who we pick, those people in the background are cheering for me. So you see some Ninjara fans, and you're going to see, like, you know, Mechanica fans in the background right now. They're yeah, all, like, cheering, right. and they have different stuff. All right. Anyway, um, different weapons here. Um, I like the Sparky and because you can charge up some punches. So I'm going to use a Sparky to charge up. I'm telling you my strategy here. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to pick the Chakram to kind of lead you. There you go. So Sparky and Chakram for I'm going to use the toaster, which is also pretty standard, and the boomerang to get some nice uh, um, curves going. Okay, in uh, my head, I got to... <laughs> let's just take a second to show sort of a... Uh, before we start beating each other up too much, let's show also, a little bit more of that. <laughs> yeah, well, let's show sort of visually what you're talking about, sort of that rock, paper, scissors of like what works. Oh, what. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, good um, so, how about so what do you want to show first? So, I'll, so right now I'm blocking. I'm tilting okay, my... Okay, so you're blocking, so I'm going to punch real quick. You can, can see, see that nothing really happens. either hand. Yep. But if I throw, right? This is the this is the counter. If I I'm, if I throw like that, that that wins over blocks, yeah. right? Um, and, and then if you do, you want to? I'm gonna block again, and now th throw that. Go ahead and put the throw at me. The throw. Okay. Throws come. Here we go. Go throw. And notice how his punch breaks throws. So it's you have to really understand what's their habit. How often is Morgan punching? I'm always thinking, how far is he away from me? What's the best weapon for me to use? Yeah, and, what's coming at me? Is it one arm? Is it two coming in for a grab? Yeah, I mean, you have to kind of read it. But really, it's simple because all you have to do is know either to flick with one hand, flick with two, block, or just move. Yep. Like, it's all here. You don't, I mean, it's simple. It's yep. really simple. You just have to, it's up in here is where, you know, in your head. Try to get in their head. All right, all right ready. you ready for this? Yep. Right. Well, I'm going to talk about my strategy while I'm hopefully beating you up here. So at the end of every jump and dash, um, you'll see that I'm going to power up my punches, and my punch um, actually is charged a little bit. So I'm charging my punch on purpose. Uh, and these 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 punches become a little bit more powerful. They have status effects depending if you hit Oh no. That. Yeah, so what I'm doing with my strategy is my left hand is a sparky. So if I dash or jump and dash. Like that at the end of it and throw this out, it stunned him. That's kind of my goal. And then I hit him with the chakra. See? Look how much damage that does. Oh. It's all right. I would kind of call that one. A, yeah. yeah, we'll call it. We were messing around in the Yeah, we were, talk, we, were, we were sharing a lot of knowledge, you know. Timer ran out. So, so okay. next match we can go out a little bit. Okay, for real. This is like for real easy this time. Okay. Um, I'm also right now kind of thinking meta. I'm like thinking, like, what's he going to pick? And that's actually a really good choice. 
Oh, jeez. You know what? Um, I'm going to stick with the same plan. I have an idea. All right. Prepare. Oh, interesting. I prefer to do. The charge meter actually carries over from matches, so I already had my special ready. Uh, pretty cool, actually. See how I'm just disappearing? I'm not using that a lot, am I, Morgan? <laughs> I love how you guys can interact with the stages as well, like on the outer, on the outer rims. You've got like the bouncy. Oh yeah, and I'm using it too. Yeah. It, oh, that was good. Really I was like, do it. Like, throw or punch. I was gonna throw a grab as soon as you landed, and you dodged two there. Throw combination, dude. Just you have to keep the other person under pressure, especially with Ninjar. He's the kind of character you want. Oh, you missed. Don't yeah. miss, bro. Don't wow. miss. Style. Hey, I'm man, like listening to you talk. I'm like, I'm learning so much from JC <laughs> as I'm getting yeah, beat up. It's really important. To, you have to study the other person. It's all about reading. Man. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, it's all about reading. Yeah, it's all about but reading he looks leading. stylish while he's doing it. On Injaro, is Yeah. It?